G'day team, Pity checking in with another unboxing. Let's have a look. Yes. Righto, so we've got the Amp Papa. How cool. So it comes in plastic shrink wrap. Right, let's bust that off. Just regular shrink wrap, so the box is pretty sturdy, it's like a matte cardboard, it's definitely a heavy weight, so I've got the branding on the top, description, designed Washington, very good. Some compliance stuff, branding. Right, oh, let's have a look. So it's like a shoebox style. That's pretty tight. Yeah, right, that's super tight. Definitely good, so it's not gonna rattle around. Okay, so what do we got there? Just so it is super sturdy box, good quality. Uh, <clears throat> like a bunning style drawing of it. Stuff that's in it. Very good. Let's have a look. Yeah, wow. Well, so that flaps open. You got like um, it's just a medium density foam to protect it. That's pretty cool. And then we got a box that opens on that side. We got a power brick. Yeah, sweet. It's got some company branding on there. That's pretty cool. Indoor use only, right? Eh? Uh, just a standard power adapter. That is a yeah, 100 to 240 volts, 12 volts, one and a half amps. That's pretty low power. You got the flexi coming off the actual brick uh, cable. Twenty-two or eighty degrees, three hundred volts. Very good. Flexi in there for your power input. It's got some raised bumps for grips. Just looks like old style laptopy kind of power supply. And we got a tube. Yeah, let's have a look at that. That's in there so it doesn't rattle around, that's pretty cool. Um, that looks... I've seen these with the other one, that's supposed to say General Electric, whether it is or not, that's another question I guess. Yeah, so all the markings been brushed off that. Looks like it's got some slight heat marks on the pins. Maybe they test it, I don't know. Right there. All the internal stuff. Very good. That's my first one. 
second one. Same. Yeah, this one is smudged off too, so same dealio. Very good. That box slides out. You got further faint padding down there. Same medium density as the top. That's, that's really, I'd say that's very well packed. Uh, then we've got the actual unit. That's cool, so they got that thumb bit in there so you can grab it. Pull it out. Oh, we got some books and stuff. Yeah, right. It's come with an RCA cable. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's it for the box. So we got RCA cables. Pretty stock, standardy ones. Bit of branding on there. Just on the single side, a bit of branding. Same. Flexi. It's a decent gauge cable. It's like rubbery. It's pretty flexy. These are the good ones. Twisty for cable management. Oh, there's a brand there, Chosil. Audio video, high grade cable, it's directional. <laughs> Never heard of that, directional RCA, but I'm not an expert at this stuff. Wacko, that's pretty cool. Nifty they came with that. So then what do we get? A sticker? No, certificate. No checker, no date. Oops, I must have forgot about that. Is it like a card? Picture of it. Warranty. Contact details. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's got like a cleaning cloth. Or maybe that's something you sit it on. I don't know. Or maybe stop the dust. That's really cool. So it's, that's the size of it with the unit on it. It's like a nice kind of suede feeling fabric. It's got a texture to it. It's cut well. That's a cool touch. I like it. And this is a newer model. So I bought this one. Um, it's an upgrade or an alternative to the other Doke audio, which I'll show you soon. This is um, the fit and finish on that. It's bloody brilliant. So you got a QC sticker there. It's definitely aluminium. Stream puts at the back. Oh, I got the Nelly on the ground. hole there through the post the threaded post it's like in a nice chrome medium of thread it's got a bit of wobble to it but that's cool easy to spin down it locks off then it's solid QR code 
You know, these vent holes, I've seen them, they must light up with LEDs behind them. Right? The branding, which is raised, it's like a nice matte black. I think it's aluminium. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Then on the bottom we've got these rubberized feet, they're really cool, so you can see they're, they're definitely grippy, even though they look shiny, like a gloss, but yeah, no, they're sweet. Looks like it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, no, it's not too bad, we got the cleaning cloth anyway. Let's try it out, I think that'll work well. Yeah, that is a good one. Ah, uh, then the actual top. So you can see that's raised there. Spot for your tubes. That detail there looks pretty cool. Got the volume knobs. Wow, they're definitely aluminium as well. You can see the CNC circle machine, which looks cool. Then you got that knurling on there like a Jim Barbell, that's really nice, and then you can see the edges are chamfered off with that awesome silver wool. Um, aluminium colour. That's got like a nice click, gradient kind of notchiness to it. Can't really hear, but you can definitely feel that. So that's your base, treble, same, each of these adjustment tiles are the same. I think they come off too, you just pull it off. Or not. Oh no, it's got a lock screw. It's Allen key, hex. Okay, that's cool. Then we got the switches. Power. Wow. That's really cool. Old style. Jet style. LED. That one is three-way. Oh, okay. Orange. That must be off. Green. These are two. One, two. One, two. That's a ripper, so that looks really good. Uh, lastly, you got your audio jack. Um, so that's going to be cool. these ones in here. So that's the focal three and a half. Okay, that's pretty solid. And it points straight up vertically. I think that's really cool too, especially for your cable, so it's not dragging around on your desk or wherever. I like that. I guess if you don't like the vertical, get a right angle adapter. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good quality. Oh, let's try the tubes. Um, So you just got that located correctly. Yeah, shit, that needs a bit of force. And just grabbing it and then push down, push down, just alternating that just so we don't smash it. That'd be a good one, bust up your fingers with the tube.
end up with another scar like that one. Silly boy. Yeah, shit, that definitely needs a bit of persuasion. That's a ripper. Right, then we get a manual. It's a nice, thick, kind of almost like between cardboard and paper. Uh, what do we get? Manual. Input details, specs. Okay. Um, some more stuff. Um, and then that written in other languages. So, I bought this and Papa after having um, initially purchased this Doku one. So this had a heap of purchases and good feedback on um, Amazon. Um, it does sound pretty good. It's got a little bit of like buzzy here, so low volume, you can hear that with those... Um, Fancy pants, vocal over ears. Um, so it works well, I guess for me, it just looks like an absolute fucking circus with all these colours and just sitting on my desk, it's just, I don't know, I prefer other things, this one's not for me. And when I looked at the Nobo Sound website, which I believe is probably the parent company for both of these, um, this one here is a slightly higher price and it's definitely newer. This one gets good reviews and then this one does too. So the actual footprint of those two, so it's similar. This one being slightly longer, slightly narrower. But what I found is this one here is more expensive on their website. And I figured it may potentially be better quality because not only is it slightly dearer, but this one has the optical Sorry, the USB input. Um, whereas this one here um, does not. So that's in side by side. I just think this is going to suit me better on the desk. And I personally think it just looks a bit better. But it's definitely, I recommend that. It definitely sounds amazing. It transformed everything for me. I've never had a tube amp, but I would definitely recommend it if you haven't had one or are thinking about it. Um, I've got a, a Dell Alien desktop, which plugs into this RCA. And then the RCA goes out to an NAD desktop amp and just makes it sound so much better it's a little bit warmer and i love the tone controls because i like what i think is called the Harmon v curve we got heaps of treble heaps of bass 
probably not for Purious Auto Files or whatever, but um, I'm definitely not, and I know what I like, so that's good, and these things here can definitely make it sound amazing. Those vocals are a bit clinically, um, and also with driving the Kev speakers, I reckon they sound a bit sharp on the NAD, so I'll just show you a quick look. So that one there's got, these are the Kevs, whatever they are, on some um, stands. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, and then that's your NAD. Whatever that is, driving it all. Um, and it definitely sounds heaps better. Heaps better. So righto, that's your two side by side. I um, definitely recommend both of these, but I personally like the Mpapa better. It's a little bit less of a circus. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. Just suits me a bit better. Righto team, looking forward to giving that a go and I hope you have an awesome day.